the study trip has been really enriching and very practical. So we study a lot at the college, but here being on a study trip really shows you the reality. In my view, it's priceless and it's a privilege to be able to attend such a trip. Krakow is amazing. It's the city where you want to go back. And it's a mix of different cultures. Um, you can see the hospitality of the Poland. You can see the greatness of Habsburg Empire and this amazing Jewish quarter, which really fascinates you and you want to explore more and more all the time. I really understood how the Austrian uh, rule of the region helped also in shaping um, a diverse community that is closer to, to European uh, values. You can actually see um, the course of history here. Every time something like the borders changed, um, you can see how this informed uh, the local architecture and how it uh, shaped the culture, essentially. So it's not just one uh, particular example of uh, Polish architecture. It's, it's Czech, it's German, it's very, very rich. Lisa team! I think Wrocław has a very interesting in uh, history because it was a German town until 1945. So it's a very fresh city in that sense, and there's no real, um, there's, there are no inhabitants that have a very long history in Wrocław itself, which is very um, interesting, especially coming from I come from the UK, so it's just a very different um, heritage in that sense. Welcome to Germany. This morning we just arrived to the city of Berlin. Hello. Hola. Hey. Okay, what did you think about uh, these, these towns that are separated just by one bridge, or connected by just one bridge, we could say? I think it's been interesting to realize how people get along, even if they live in different countries. Sometimes we face the borders even when we are communicating with uh, students come from different countries. It's another border. The fact of being together uh, for seven hours in the bus, it was amazing yeah, and, and I really enjoyed being able to be with my colleagues and knowing each other and build a community at the college. Yeah. The possibility to see how people integrate, not having maybe the same language or not having the same uh, religious orientation, which is actually a, a crucial element of, of culture. And I have to say that I had no idea about the values, the traditions of these uh, Islamic community that exists in Poland, which is one of the most mono-ethnic countries in Europe. That I think impressed us all, especially that uh, old lady uh, taking us to her mosque like it was her home. I think that was really nice and that really uh, the group itself enjoyed really much. My expectations have been completely surpassed, not only because the region is so rich and such, has such an impressive past. We got to hear about the story of the synagogue where Jews were encapsulated by the Nazis. And for me, it's a huge privilege to be here and see it in person. It makes so much difference. I think it's really amazing uh, to see um, the integration of the different cultures. One place doesn't equal one impression or one interpretation or one point of view. One thing is never black or white. It has nuances and here we had the chance of discovering the nuances on the spots themselves. It was really fun and I got to meet some new people, uh, but also during the evenings we spent time together, get to learn more about each other, about our cultures, which is uh, really interesting. I think intense is the right word, but also very interesting. So, um, yeah, this would be to, um, this is how I would describe the, the study trip so far. Border is not a visible line which divides uh, different countries. It's, it's a border sometimes in our minds, but the most important is to understand not to be afraid of the border. <laughs>